Hello and welcome to the Arima help video. If you need a bit of help getting started with using the Arima client on arima.com then you've come to the right place. If you've got any specific problems then feel free to skip forward to the advanced topics section and but for now let's just get to grips with the basics of the Arima client. Alright, first things first. What you need to remember if you're playing against a human or as gold against a bot is that you need to click start here otherwise the game won't get started now I'm playing silver against a bot so I don't need to uh, but if you have started a game and nothing's happening uh, the chances are you've forgotten to click start so don't forget that so now let's take a quick look at how to set our pieces up so as you can see the computer in the JavaScript client already sets your pieces up for you like so but let's say I don't like this arrangement how do I change it well what I need to do is click on two pieces to switch them so let's say I don't like the position of these dogs here I'd rather they were on these squares here so what I do is I click on the dog click on the rabbit and they've switched so I'm going to do the same with the other dog and the rabbit and then gonna, I'm going to click send uh, to specify that this is the position I want so now let's see how to move our pieces you'll see that whenever you hover on top of a piece you'll see an arrow indicating the direction that piece can go in so I'm going to move now like that and then you can see the other places my piece can go now let's say I've regretted that and I want to take it back so I click here right wrong this way I've actually used two steps I've already used two steps one to move forward and one to move back so now I go one two and then I wonder why I can't do three and four what I needed to do to take back was click on this U so I can go one two three four to take back all my steps and then I can start again alternatively if I want to take back all of my steps I just need to click here the other thing you need to keep in mind is that if I move like this and then I start on a pushing move and I don't finish it none of my other pieces look as though they can move because if I start a pushing move I've got to finish it so if I've decided I don't want to push then in the same way I take back and then I continue if I decide I don't want to use all of my steps um, as now I've only moved my horse forward and I don't want to do anything more then I just click pass and then I must click send so now it's my move again and I'm just going to use two of my steps and now I've finished and I don't want to do anything more but I must remember to click send otherwise my time is ticking away and I think it's my opponent's move when it's actually still my move because I haven't clicked send and I could lose on time so um, I won't dig a grave for myself and so I'm going to click send okay so let's say I've moved like so and then for whatever reason I've lost my window I've closed it so what happens now is my game over well no because it's still running under my games as you can see here so if I've lost my window and I need to get it back again all I need to do is click on my name here and it will pop back up for me and there I am and hopefully I'm not too far behind the game so what if I decide I'm tired of this game and I'm going to lose anyway so I want to resign well uh, firstly I should say that we don't usually recommend that you resign because Arima is a funny kind of game uh, you can think you're losing and actually end up winning through a strange twist of the game uh, but if you must resign then you can use this button here and that will resign you um, but it will ask you if you really want to resign so you don't need to worry about clicking in the wrong place uh, so let's go through some of the other buttons well you see there was the undo buttons here uh, that helped me to undo my moves these are the redo buttons so I can redo those move those steps I just took back pass we've seen this changes the view of the board depending on whether I want to view it from the side from my own perspective or my opponent's perspective this changes the speed at which the pieces move so if I were to move like this and then you'll see pretty soon that my opponent's pieces will come bombing down the other side of the board uh, 
Uh, this turns on and off the sound. Uh, this turns on and off expert mode, which I'll be talking about later. This shows me my opponent's last move again, in case I've forgotten or I missed it because I was trying to multitask. This helps to rewind and this to fast forward. This goes to the beginning of the game. This goes to the game as it is now. This is the help button, which uh, got you to the video you're watching now and uh, those are all the buttons you need to know so this button this button gets you to the planning mode which I'll explain later as well and this uh, gets you to a list of all the moves in the game you've played so far in case you want to analyze it later okay so now we come to the advanced topic section of the video feel free to skip to whichever part of the video deals specifically with your problem if you can't find the help you need here, uh, feel free to come into the forum uh, at arima.com and uh, find somewhere logical to make a post and you can be sure that within a day or so uh, somebody will be helping you out there. Uh, so, let's get started. So first off, making a challenge. If we come to the game room here and we come down and find an unsuspecting victim, say Tux, uh, let's just have a look at how we would challenge him to a game. So first of all we have a challenge window that comes up. There we are and you can see his name is already entered here. So now we select our time control. So this is interactive and postal. These are basically two categories of game. You pick one or the other. So under interactive uh, you can see all the time controls that would require that you play the game live as it were so you move in 15 seconds 45 seconds or you can say the game should end within an hour an hour and a half or so on you pick whichever one of these you want and then make the challenge in that way either that or you can pick a postal game which is basically whereby you play a game over several days over email so you move in a day move in four days move in one week with three weeks reserve or whatever you, you want to do so you pick one of those let's say no time limit and then you choose which side you're going to play on whether you want it rated or not and then write a short message maybe something a little bit more polite and then click on invite but I'm not going to actually do that now a problem some people have is that the game client doesn't seem to be loading properly uh, sometimes the board can look as though it's just full of uh, little white boxes uh, so what you might want to try and do is change the client you're playing with if you come over here to settings game client then here you can choose a different client so with the clients here there's the JavaScript client which is what you sh would usually have if that's not working for you if you can't enable JavaScript in your browser then try the flash client and there's version 2 if that doesn't work you can try version 1 uh, it mostly works in the same way as the JavaScript client so you don't need to worry that everything's going to be vastly different now when it comes to pausing and restarting games uh, it's actually not possible to do either uh, you can't pause a game after it's been started and it's uh, not possible to restart the same game uh, you have to finish one game and then start with the next and you might have to do that by resigning uh, also don't forget that closing the window doesn't actually end or pause a game because it's always running in the game room uh, underneath my games and now as for taking back a move that's usually not possible uh, it's definitely not possible in a rated game and it's only possible in uh, unrated games against humans and um, even then it's subject to the approval of the other player uh, so it's not usually an option and there definitely isn't any provision for giving your opponent any extra time you might want to do that but if they're out of time they're out of time and you win so that's that
Now earlier I promised I'd show you about expert mode and the planning window. So with it, what expert mode does is it allows you not only to take steps with your own pieces and to work out uh, the position you would be in and to try and plan. It also allows you to move, play with your opponent's pieces in the same way. So let me show you. I'll turn expert mode on. Now I say, okay, if I come here and here with my elephant, then what could silver do? Firstly, I click on the silver piece to activate the silver pieces, and now I move the silver pieces. And then I mo click on my own piece and move it like so. And so I can actually plan ahead quite a bit. If I want to take back all the moves, um, all the steps in a certain move, I just click on a trap square like so. That takes back gold's move, that takes back silver's move. And of course don't forget that no matter what you do with your opponent's pieces, when you click send, it's only your own move that's actually going to be sent. Now planning mode is pretty much the same thing, except that with this one, when you make a move and then you want to play with your opponent's pieces you have to actually click pass first and then you can try and work out what your opponent would do but don't forget that you still have to come into the game room and actually play the move play the steps you're planning on taking and then click send now of course when it comes to chatting uh, what you can do is uh, chat with your player in the window here of course, bots don't know what you're saying and they don't respond. Uh, but of course, what you have to remember is that after you've lost the game, you, know, you can only continue chatting for a certain amount of time uh, before uh, the server deletes it. Uh, so what you can suggest to your opponent uh, when you finish the game is that if you want to continue chatting, uh, then you can uh, close the game window and come into the chat room here. Also, if you want to comment on the game you've just played, then you can come uh, into Games, My Recent Games, and then you can come here and add a comment about the game you just played, uh, like so. And then come here, add comment, and the comment was added. So I can come back and see it there in theory. So that's about it. Uh, as I say, if um, the, your specific problem hasn't been covered in this video, feel free to come into the forum over on arima.com and ask for the help you need. I'm quite sure you'll get it. Uh, but that's it from me, so I hope you have some good games.